guys, we're back. I've cleared my workstation. I've got everything set out neatly. I've got a quite chunky paintbrush because we're putting down a base colour. I've also gone and got some acrylic paint. Now, you might use other paint over in junior school, but we're using acrylic. Acrylic can be a problem because you don't want to get it on your uniform. It will not come off. So, being an art teacher, I'm working with red, yellow and blue. And you might say, but miss, there's green. Well, we'll look at that in a minute. So, what do I want red? I'm gonna take the red, straight from the pot in this case, because I want a nice vibrant red, and I'm painting. Because of the way I'm painting, I'm just color filling. Notice I'm just whacking it on. So if it gets a bit too thick, if I splodge a bit and it's too thick, I don't add any more, I just work that around. If you get this on your hands, it will come off, even though it will not come off your uniform. So, at the moment in COVID times, we're not wearing fabric aprons, but there are plastic aprons in school. And you can make sure you've got one of those. So, because you can just see the edges, I'm just gonna lift up the edges, and you could actually put it face down, and just go over the edges that way. Now, this isn't fine painting, this is just color blocking. So I'm just whacking it in, and you can see that it's covered. Now, I'm just going to set that to one side to dry. It's reasonably smooth, it looks okay. If it's flattened a little bit, don't we? We can still shape it afterwards. So it's going to just go on my drying area. I'm working on a table where I've put some paper down so at the end I don't have to wash the table. Obviously, I need to wash this brush before I use another colour or it will contaminate my colour. So I'm now onto the white rose. I've got some white acrylic paint and we're playing the same game again. We're doing a coat. Now, if it looks slightly pink, because you've done the red first, you might have a little bit of pink residue in the, or red residue into the brush. Don't worry too much. A little bit of pink won't do any harm. If it's very pink, you need to wash and lightly dry your brush, maybe on a paper towel. Same process, completely done. That is going in my drying zone. And what do I need to do with my brush, guys? I need to wash it. Probably need to wash my fingers too. So the next thing I've got is the yellow, the center point. Um, I'm going over the top. Notice we can still see the brown of the cardboard coming through. That's because the yellow is letting the light through. So I'm gonna add a little bit of white into my yellow and this is going to make such a difference. You can see it already happening on the cardboard. You see that massive difference? That is a top tip that some people do not know, guys. So I'm gonna just finish coating that. I'm gonna pop that on my drying zone and I'm going to move on to my green. But, da, da, da. do we have any green? Aha, uh -huh. do we have the components to make green? So if I get a bit of blue and a bit of yellow and mix them together, look at that. Now, if the green looks too dark, add a bit more yellow. If it looks a little bit too light, let's make one that looks very, very light. You see how it looks a bit too light? That does not look like a healthy leaf green, does it? it looks like it's not had enough light. So we're going to put a bit more blue in it and then get the green you want. Make enough to do all the leaves at once. Save you be inefficient. I paint one leaf, pop it out the way to dry. Paint the next leaf. If you've done five of these, you only have to do it five times. If you've done 10 of these, you're gonna do it 10 times. Do around the edges. You might go, miss, I would like a gradient on my leaf. That might be cool. By that I mean, you can have it slightly darker at one end. So it's gonna be slightly darker blend at the bottom. Mine a bit darker. running out of the, the paints and wanting to mix a bit more. It would have been better if I'd mixed the right amount to begin with, but there we go. Da, 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 da. That one looks slightly darker than some of the others, but it doesn't matter. And I will continue and I will let them dry. See you in a minute. 